In this session, we will be discussing how to set up and edit the ACH and Bank Accounts Settings Format. In order to access this page, go to Settings in the top left-hand toolbar. Here you'll see that there's a whole list of corporate settings. Choose the third one from the top, ACH slash Bank Accounts. Once this page populates, you'll see that we already have a list of accounts that are put into our software. Yours may or may not have any because you probably first need to create them. There is no default ACH or bank account because we don't know exactly who you are going to work with. So you probably need to go to the top right and create a new ACH slash bank account. Notice here that first you need to decide who you are integrated with. Most lending companies or payday loan companies they are integrated with companies like the one shown here in this list. But if you want to be integrated with one of these companies, you need to do so before you set them up with this software, otherwise it won't work. Because as you can see, you'll have a name or a username, a login and a password, and that will let you log into your Teledraft account or your ACHWorks account. That will make it so you can link up with these systems and their services. For now, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between each integration company. Teledraft is simple, name, login, password. ACHWorks is a little more complicated. Not only do you have a name, but you have an active or inactive status. You have a location ID, the company, the key which, which ACHWorks will give you, the original payee and account setting. Then it asks you how you want your debit transactions to be processed, either by web, PPD, or web or PPD. And you can select if you want auto processing, which will then have you choose what day and what time exactly you want the auto processing to happen. And it will ask you for check returns. And again, that asks you when you want your auto check return. You choose which day is best or if there's any day that you don't want to get your auto check return on, you must deselect it. We'll say Thursday we don't want, or Sunday. And then again, you choose exactly what time. It says here, yesterday's returns will be checked when the scheduled for earlier than 12 p.m. Central Time. Today's returns will be checked when scheduled for 12 p.m. and later Central Time. So make sure you set up your time according to that. If you wish to create that account, click Create but we're going to go ahead and check out these other types of ACH slash bank accounts. Here's LST Financial. Again, it's simple. Name, login, password, active, and then you have a customer ID that you need to fill out. Intercept EFT. It's basically the same as the other two with a name, login, and password, but now you have a multi-factor login data which will be a, a big number like this here on the right. They give you an example of what it will look like. Then you have an intercept EFT pin number that they will give you when you sign up with them, a company name, a tax ID, and again, auto processing and auto check for returns that will allow you to choose when exactly you want everything to be processed and returned to you. Advantage ACH, again, a different ACH company. Um, they gave you a name, a notch ID, a token, an FTP login, an FTP password. So all this stuff will be provided to you when you sign up with these companies. Just remember that. If you work with CSV, all they ask for is a name. They're a lot more simple to work with. Or you could always choose none. And if you choose none, then that simply means that you create a bank account to watch your money go through. But there's actually no bank that you're working with. Um, right now, we'll go ahead and say, say we work with Teledraft. And instead of creating a new account, I'm gonna go back to the accounts that we already have set up. But here, this one is with Teledraft. And actually, we will work with ACH Works because they have money in their account already. But once you set up your account with your software, it's really easy to watch where your money goes when it comes in and out. It'll tell you the transfer date, uh, the admin who authorized the transfer date, the amount, and the drawer for which store that it goes from and to. So you can see 
the admin was Chris, the dollar amount was $100. It was from Cassandra and it went to ACH Works account. Here we have a big one of $50,000 and it has a serial number from where it came from to ACH Works account. And so basically linking this, your software, with an ACH or bank account allows you to keep track of your money. And it's a lot more um, effective and simple and it takes away a lot of the headache of trying to keep track of your receipts when dealing with your ACH and bank accounts. So this concludes our session on how to deal with ACH and bank accounts. If you have any other questions, please view our other tutorials or contact our support team. Thanks for watching.